changes us from the inside out, the outside in, amen, and it's just such a refreshing note to know, thank God we're not the same, you know, you could probably be beating down your house right now, and just thinking, I need a change, you know, I need to change, there's something about me that needs to change, And that's a good sign. That's a wonderful sign in the Lord and in God when we want 
to change. Amen. Without further ado, I just want to say hello once again to my Instagram family. We're seeing all those who come in. And God bless you, Pastor. I see that you came in, Pastor Larry. All of those that are my speaker family, God bless you. We love you. Thank you for connecting with us that we're able to connect all around the world. Amen. Such a blessing and such a connection. Also to those that are on my Facebook and family, friends, all that are on our connecting, all that we will share through as well through our groups. I want to say I love you and the Lord. God bless you and how many of us are looking towards and wanting the change, the change that only God can change within our lives. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a different type of change because it's going to be a different type of enlightenment within our hearts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this word. Amen. We're just leaving little diamonds, as they say, little nuggets along the way. Amen. And that's right. It's all about the cross. Amen. That we are all saved by the grace of God and the cross of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray here today. Father God, we thank you, Lord, because you are awesome. You're wonderful. You're great. You're mighty. You're strong, Lord. And you can do anything and everything that you want to do. Not only in my life, but in the life of my children, in the life that impacts those around me, that it doesn't matter if I'm in a high or in a low place, Lord, that you make an imprint of who I am, even in the life of others, life transformation, life transformative way of life to bring life, love, and laugh, even unto the life of others and you know there's nothing wrong with someone just laughing at you just like there's not uh, no shame in the game of someone loving on you amen of uh, bringing back a good remembrance you know I'm just thinking of time when I never could do the rollerblades okay the rollerblades were just not really good for me uh, for some reason the ankles it's just like ice skating Yep, you've seen it. The first on the ice, flat on the floor. And I had a best friend, which actually was my uh, very close cousin. And she's like, hey, let's go on the skates, you know. Come to the weekend, let's go on the skates. And I would go out there. Now, if you get me some wheels, come on now. Maybe, maybe, even to this day, I could do some skating and, uh, and, and come in kind of powerful doing the back you know going backwards and and maybe doing some turns you know if you got a, an x you know this way and you're kind of working each other to turn around it's powerful skating is powerful um i need to get with my sister on that <laughs> uh, because they said she was tearing up the floor on one of the girls birthday um and I'm just saying that because these, this is laughter, amen? The change of just laughter in your life. I'm praying and hoping that you're laughing with me and not at me. Come on now. And I'm saying, but if you would have seen me on those uh, ice, uh, it wasn't a pretty picture. When I hit my head and it came, boom, really hard. And I was just having to hold on the rail all the way. And I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe these roller blades will be a little bit more different. Mm -mm. <laughs> that didn't work either, amen. But change. There's so much change in the season. There's so much change even as time goes by, church, amen. You're not the same. You're not the same what you used to be, what you used to do. Praise God, you know. And some people say, well, you know, I, I like kind of the things that I, I could, I used to do, but I can't do anymore. But change is good. Amen. And you have the, uh, the memory of that. Amen. Um, and I really don't want to go there <laughs> of something that's just reminding me, you know, but there's no shame. Amen. There's no shame. And I'm telling you just to see the growth. And when you're able to look back and see how God 
is changing, how God is bringing an enlightenment, how God is growing you and showing you all the aspects of the in and the out. And even that happened into the life of the disciples. Amen. And I was remembered um, into the book of, let me go ahead and take you there. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm enjoying uh, those who know me that have been following me for some time now. You know, Krista Lewis is my girl. Amen. She's got a great testimony. And just to see, you know, even to this age and different things that are happening within her life, how when her mother had gotten Alzheimer's, it's just a big testimony. And she's just always been really big. Um, a draw back and a draw in into my life. Amen. Let me go ahead and give some wave offerings there. Those who have joined in. Sometimes I can't see all of the comments of those that are coming in. Amen. But we are here. Amen. Let me see if we can go ahead and uh, we have not been able to go in, but we're going in now. Amen. Hallelujah, we are just coming in. Can you imagine? Uh, speakers already been rolling. We're just going to go ahead and invite you in at this time. Amen. Yes, we are on live. Tina Viesca, Crossing Borders International, and on our YouTube page. And so if you have not subscribed, let's subscribe. Let's like. Let's get into this word of God here today in which I have for your life. Amen. Here where I was reading in, let me see here, I know I wrote down in my notes here. If you see here, thank you Jesus, I know I wrote it down, let's see here. I moved some pages there. But there was change. In the book of Acts, you'll be able to see there in chapter 16 where you can see where Timothy literally is joining in with Paul and Silas and we know that Timothy was quite young and yet there was some things that yet Paul had to work out through Timothy in order for him to walk with Paul and Silas and we see that by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that the Lord only allowed them in chapter 16, that they were only allowed to do certain things in certain times, in certain measures that was allowed by the Holy Spirit. But where I want to take you is the imprisonment that you know what it was real quick it was real fast and it was because the injustice that was happening within the life of Paul and Silas and you know and in me I'm thinking well where's Timothy in this because Timothy was floating the boat already with Paul and I believe that he was there in that time but he wasn't quite mentioned why was he not quite mentioned I believe it because he wasn't all that grown come on now in the things of God just like Paul and Silas maybe it was Timothy that was saying what's going to happen to us you know we're going to die here you know they took us to and you're going to we're going to read it we're going to read it where literally they took them into the deepest into inside of the prison where there was not even no lights but they chained them they bond them down and we could see you know what was happening in the life of Paul and Silas but I believe because of the factor that Timothy sh should have already been there and he was there but why wasn't he not mentioned and if you look at it,